In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power to comprehend the power of the mind. If any one of us could unlock this terrible power, would we use it to explore the mysteries of the infinite, or would we use it to destroy? Yes! Yes! Tremble, Earthlings! Tremble before the might of General Skunkape! <laughs> you know, Sam, Skunk Ape may be a tool, but he brings a refreshingly childlike glee to his work. <laughs> yeah, Max, it's hard to stay mad at the guy. Witness Sam and Max, with my unstoppable dreadnought, my Shivan Queen at my side, and the power trapped in the Fuzzy One's brain, I will destroy your pitiful planet and then dominate the entire galaxy. Totally ruin the moment. Ah, uh, wait, which one of us is the Fuzzy One? It's a familiar tale. A power-mad space gorilla pitted against a canine detective and a sociopathic bunny with psychic powers. But, my friends, this story is different. In this story, you are in control. Only you can release our heroes from General Skunkape's bizarre space zoo. Only you can guide them in their quest to bring the villain to space justice. Are you ready? Let's begin by finding the proper tool. If I could just reach my gun, we could administer an old-school freelance police-style beatdown to that guy. I can't wait to get my stinking paws on that damn dirty ape! Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. Inside the dankest recesses of Max's mind, where you can attempt to control his horrible psychic abilities, unlocked by the toys of power. Well done, my friends. Now select a phone number that Max has memorized to teleport himself and his very longtime companion to that location. And also Sam. It's the Freelance Police. Oh, baby, I've missed you. <laughs> now what? Listen to the brain! Hey, Sam. It's our new pal, the disembodied alien brain. The same. I am speaking to you telepathically. No one else can hear me, Sam and Max. I can. Shut up. 
Your Earth weapons will never be enough to defeat General Skunkape. Don't you still have that homing beacon? It's too bad Skunk Ape decided to go into galaxy domination. He's got a real eye for interior decorating. Perfect! Now, you must place the homing beacon on General Skunkape's back to trap him in the penal zone! That won't work. What am I supposed to do with that? You're the one with the pockets. I'm not giving this away to just anybody. Hmm? What's that? Do you really believe it would be that easy? Kinda, yeah. We're going to need some kind of cover to get up close and personal with Skunk Ape. Max, remember that you have been blessed with the gift. You must unlock your abilities with the remaining toys of power. Behold! Uh, hang on. Uh, there we go. It's a lump of rhinoplasty. The wacky modeling clay that promises hours of fun. And delivers about five to ten minutes worth. Max, the rhinoplasty will grant you the incredible power of shape shifting. You can use the rhinoplasty to pick up a picture of any inanimate object. Then use the power of your mind to transform into that object. It's fun! Try to look leafy and inconspicuous, Max. I always do. Well done, Freelance Police. Now, you must get that homing beacon onto General Skunkape before he reaches the Bronx, or all will be lost. Oh, a uh, plant. I love what you've done with the place, my queen. Now what? Now we just use the remote control Mama Bosco gave us, and Skunk Ape gets sucked right in the penal zone, so to speak. Well done, Sam and Max, but I'm far too strong to be captured again. Soon this gateway will close, and there will be nothing to stop me. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. With all the flashing lights and panels up here, there must be something that can help. How are we supposed to get up there? The door's locked. Hmm, I can't open the doors now, but I have an idea. Before he was imprisoned, your friend, the Mole Man, was screaming something about taking over the ship. Find out what he knows. Hey Harry, do you know how we can beat Skunk Ape? Poor Harry. 
General Skunk Ape put him in this penny-conscious terrarium to make an example out of him. Even if he could hear you through the glass, Sam, the sunlamp has made him even more worthless than usual. Max, you'll have to use another one of the toys of power. think you're desperate. Excellent, Max. That phone number might be enough, because General Skunkape locked the Mole Man's cell phone and other belongings inside this container. be something here that'll help us knock Skunky back into the penal zone. Hey, Brain! Aren't you hooked into all the controls of this spaceship or something? Can you give us a hand with this thing? Just be a little more sensitive. He doesn't have hands. So what's he gonna do? Punch me? No hands! Looks like Skunk Ape was about 300,000 miles overdue for an oil and filter change. Fabulous Off-World Vacation Departure Center. It's locked. It's locked. What are we supposed to be doing, Brain? I've already told you. You've got to find some way to knock General Skunkape into the penal zone! You'll have to excuse Sam. He's new at this. It's locked. We'd need more than just a picture of a space bazooka to do any damage to somebody as big as Skunk Ape. Good work, man. 
Max. Now let's. I'm a bazooka, Sam. A bazooka. Oh, just give me a moment to savor this. Oh yes. Just got an idea. Wait, can you modulate the lower quadrant of tachyon emitters to emit a two-thirds pulse stream? But that would generate a zeta wave strong enough to rip through the Van de Graaff polarity. Ah, which would create a pocket universe in which Skunk Ape doesn't even exist. Brilliant, I'll get right on. Wait a second, that doesn't even make sense. It sounded good, though. And low, Max. Careful with that trigger finger, Sam. Hey, Skunky, say hello to my little body. <laughs> Friends, you have just participated in a troubling vision of the future. The first of many such disturbing revelations. Over the next five chapters, you will witness things that baffle you, horrify you, even disgust you. But you must not look away. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. Because when our story reaches its bowel-tingling climax, only you, my friends, will possess the ability to save the entire universe. The toy I found just gave me an uncanny vision of our violent future. I know, I saw it too, somehow. Did your version have credits? It had a spaceship, a friendly alien brain in a jar, and an evil space gorilla trying to destroy the city. What could it all mean? Creatures of Earth, I am General Skunkape. Hear my words. I have come to you with a message of peace and love. 
Uh, sorry about that building. Hmm, what could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. My friends, you seem a bit confused. But there's no cause for alarm. We've merely let the story get ahead of itself. Let's take a brief journey back to properly set the scene. Our story begins 25 minutes ago, on a street very much like this one. You've got a phone call. This is Sam and Max, Freelance Police, Mobile Division. Hello, Commissioner. No, we're not in the office. We're locked out of our building. It wasn't my fault this time! One gaping, treacherous crack in the street and those pansies from City Hall shut down the whole block! What's that, Commissioner? A sudden wave of lawfulness and goodwill spreading through the city? No, we didn't have anything to do with that. There aren't any crimes for us to solve? Okay then, we'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The brain is dying. I'll have to call you back, Commissioner. Max has psychic powers now, apparently. That should bring us all up to speed. Now, where were we? Something about a spaceship. What could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. Sybil sent us a postcard. She and the giant stone head of Abraham Lincoln are still on their extended honeymoon. And you said their marriage wouldn't last. Actually, I said it was a violation of the laws of nature and most major religions. Do you remember the what to do in case of alien invasion checklist, little buddy? Oh, I know this! One, interrogate the alien leader. Two, liberate any horrific experimental creatures trapped on their spaceship. And... Oh, three, trick them into believing that cat litter is the official Earth currency. Then sit back and watch hilarity ensue. Good work, Max. I sure hope the planet doesn't fall for General Skunk Ape's plan, whatever it is. Well, he is pretty charismatic, Sam. And he's from space, which is a plus. But you're the only hairy, overweight, domineering control freak I need, Sam. Gee, thanks, Max. I think. It feels good to be on a case again. Now, is it really a case if we don't have a client and no one's paying us? The client is justice, Max. And justice is blind and frugal. These psychic powers of yours are pretty neat. <sighs> I guess. It's just too bad I didn't have him on prom night. Cheer up, pal. Just think of all the destruction you can cause at the class reunion. I'm surprised and disappointed that you managed to stay president this long. Yeah, that sudden unexplained outbreak of bubonic plague really brought the nation together for my re-election. That reminds me. Where's Jimmy Two-Teeth and all his rat pals? Damnedest thing. They suddenly came into a lot of money from an anonymous benefactor. The city looks a lot different from what I remember. It's the new mayor and his Man Up New York, it's a city, not a freaking daycare center campaign. His inauguration was the most action-packed in years, though. He wore a necklace made from human fingers. I hope they finish the repair work on our building soon. I miss taking showers. We could just give ourselves tongue baths like cats and flight attendants do. Well, okay, I guess. Just be careful around the back of my neck. That's where I'm most prone to tie rash. I wonder what it'd be like to live on another planet. Probably a lot like this one, but bouncier and more methane rich. I don't need to go to another planet for a methane rich environment as long as I've got you, pal. That's really sweet and obvious, Sam. Keep watching the skies, Max. I'll shoot if they try anything funny. It's a 
Good thing Sybil packed all her junk into these boxes for safekeeping. And I'm especially glad we didn't put it in a secure, environmentally regulated storage facility like she asked us to. Yeah, this way's a lot cheaper, and everybody gets to enjoy it. It's been months, and they still haven't sealed up this crack. Somebody should do something about it. I say we all wear gray ribbons to raise crack awareness. Did you remember to feed the parking meter, Max? I slaved all day over a hot stove for it, and do I hear one word of thanks? Hello, and welcome to a bold new reimagining of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. Yeah, what are you doing in our car? I said you guys could hang out in our car until you found your own place, but it's been months now. You have been randomly selected to enjoy a free trial of the Crime-Tron XL at no cost to you. What happened to that Bluster Blaster machine you used to hang out with? He has traveled with user Vasco to Las Vegas, Nevada. What's an outdated arcade machine supposed to do in Vegas? He doesn't even have any money! Bluster Blaster received a generous workers' compensation settlement upon his termination from Pimplica. We cannot comment while litigation is pending. What's this business about a free trial? You have selected to hear more about the Crimetron XL. In a world where thugs and supervillains rule the streets, only the most technologically advanced Crime Stoppers will emerge victorious. Submit clues gathered from your investigations and we will analyze the living hell out of them. Hello and welcome to the Televoice Communitron Extreme 5000, with over 800 messaging features available. Oh boy! Now I can finally set up my 24-hour adults-only naked bunny chat line. We're sorry, we've lost my manual for that feature. Can you make phone calls? That I can handle. Please say the name of the person you want to call. This is Harry Molman, speaker for the dead. If you'd like a seance, exorcism, or Tibetan spirit walking ritual, please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I also do light secretarial or housework. Please hire me. Why do we have jumper cables? Neither of us knows how to use them. It's simple, Sam. The red cable goes on the right nipple, and the black cable clamps to Neither the... Neither of us knows how to use them legally, Max. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Gee, little buddy. Here in 2109, our street looks pretty much the same as it did a hundred years ago. Keep moving, Earthling! Emperor Skunkape II has demanded tribute! You used to be so much cooler, Max. Max, no! Not the Chrysler Building! That sounds fun! I can hardly wait! See you wherever that is, then, oh, my love.
See you, Max. Keep in touch! Hello, sir. Mr. President. President, you are the ruler of this planet? Oh no, I'm just President of the United States. We're only one of many United Nations working You're together to here, achieve... Sir. You can speak freely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in charge pretty much. Perfect. Just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Keep the hands where we can see him, pal. But of course. I have come to your pitiful, beautiful world for a peaceful exchange of technology. All the wonders of the galaxy, yours. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. <laughs> All I ask in return is your help while my research assistants search for an artifact of interest to my people. What are you doing here, Agent Superball? As you know, sirs, when you appointed me Secretary of the Posterior, that placed me in command of the Department of Homeworld Security. I didn't know we had one of those. Did you, Max? Heck if I know! As soon as they gave me a button that shoots ballistic missiles and a hotline to Mila Jovovich, I lost interest in everything else! Well, I investigate visitations from aliens, abductions, violations of the time stream, lost continents, myth and legends, that kind of thing. What's this about an artifact? It is the eyes of Yog Sogoth, one of hundreds of magical toys scattered throughout the galaxy by the Great Comet. It's believed to give the holder the power to see the future. What a coincidence! I was just- He was just saying how he wished he could see the future, so he and I would stop showing up to work wearing the same thing. It gets pretty awkward. You're not from around here, are you? Guilty. You could tell by the accent, right? <laughs> no, I have traveled from a planet hundreds of light years away from your own. It was once a beautiful, swampy and muggy world. The air dancing with swarms of mosquitoes. The stillness of the nights punctuated only by the mewling of infants and the drunken revelries of toothless secessionists. Its name would be impossible for your earth tongues to pronounce, but my people know it as Pensacola. Just wondering, how much do you pay for security on a ship like that? Security? You know, laser grids, explosive time locks, that kind of thing. We're just curious. <laughs> my spaceship and the wonders aboard it are open to all the feeble people of Earth. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight! Does the general want a banana? I see. Because I resemble your Earth gorillas, you assume I want a banana. I'm glad to see that Earthlings are still so charmingly racist. Relax, buddy. We're just making sure you're getting enough potassium. All right, we'll uh, let you know if we find that artifact. After clearing it through the Department of Homeworld Security first. Just a formality. Go in peace. It's General Skunk Ape's horrible spaceship. Good likeness. This place looks eerily familiar. Check it out, Max. The control center for invaders from distant stars. Yeah, yeah, alien spaceship. Seen it? I just want to get to the part where I have those sweet psychic powers. You just need our friend the brain to hook you up and... Oh no, he's dead. Didn't he look more moist in the future? We've got to find some way to wake him up so he can explain what's going on. Don't sweat it, Sam. I've got psychic powers! He died too soon, I'm assuming. How are we going to wake him up? You 
Must figure out how to do it eventually, Sam. He was awake in the future. Well, that's going to be pretty clever of me. I wonder how I end up doing it. Fabulous Off-World Vacation Departure Center. Well, that's ominous. Step aside, ladies! Big winner coming through! Congratulations! Hey, pal, we want to ask you... I've been listening to suits like you for too long already. You can dig your own tunnels now, while I enjoy an all-expenses-paid off-world vacation. So long, suckers! <laughs> And that is why we're doing a staycation this year. It's locked. Mole Man processing. Weird. There's a hard hat and some kind of vacation ticket. All the personal effects confiscated from our fuel resources are collected and donated to various intergalactic Mole Man charities. What a nice gesture. We should leave it for when that Mole Man gets back, Sam. I think he uh, went to live on a farm to play with other Mole Men. Oh. <laughs> Check if he left his wallet. No such luck. Looks like Skunk Ape is about 300,000 miles overdue for an oil and filter change. In a better world, aliens and Earthlings would be able to unite under our shared love of really cool guns. It's empty. I never drink when I'm on a case. How do you suppose we bring our alien brain friend back to life? I'm sure you'll figure out something eventually. I don't have that kind of patience, little buddy. <laughs> what do you want, Sam? It's not like I can see the fu- Oh, wait. Keep watching the skies, Max. I'll shoot if they try anything funny. You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Well, that's encouraging. So, uh, how did we do it? I don't know. We haven't done it yet. I know. What if you use that future vision on me? You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Well, you heard the mean little buddy. We've got to find some demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. 